But unfortunately, it's so easy for things to go awry. I mean, some of you experience segmentation faults already, and let's consider why that might happen. So here's a contrived example of code that is by design buggy, but let's just talk it through in English what these lines are doing. This line here, int star x, is saying, hey, computer, give me a variable that will store the address of an integer. So give me a pointer to an int is the more casual way of saying it. Hey, computer, give me another variable that's going to store the address of an int and call it y. So x and y, that's it. This line is newish. Hey, computer, allocate enough space that will fit an int. So size of int is the new syntax we saw earlier for just figuring out how many bytes is an int. Odds are this is going to come back as 4 or 32 bits in most computers. So this just says, hey, browser, give me four bytes of memory and store that. In this location, or rather, store that in this variable. Store that in this variable. So maybe it's going to say, OK, here's four bytes at location 100, or here's four bytes at location 900, or wherever. We don't care. We're just remembering that address in x. Star x says, go to that address, 100 or 900, whatever it is, put the number 42 there. This next line says, go to the address in y and put the unlucky number, hint, hint, 13, there. Well, what is the address in y? I haven't allocated it yet. What's the address in x? It's wherever malloc told me to use space. That's safe. That was like 100, 900, whatever the value was. But did I allocate space for y? So, what kind of value does it contain, so to speak? A garbage value. Maybe it's zero. Maybe it's like 32,000. We don't know because if you don't specify the value, it is not safe to trust it or do anything with it. This is going to give me probably one of those segmentation faults. And indeed, if I run a program like this, I'm quite likely going to see exactly that kind of problem.、Um, it's perhaps better, though, to see this in a way that'll paint a more memorable picture. And for that, I thought we'd take,、uh, in our 10 minutes remaining, use a few of these minutes to take a look at something our friends at Stanford put together、uh, with a bit of claymation. It's about three minutes long, well worth it to paint a picture of exactly what goes wrong when you don't use memory correctly, if we could dim the lights. Hey, Binky, wake up. It's time for pointer fun. What's that? Learn about pointers? Oh, goody! Well, to get started, I guess we're going to need a couple pointers. OK, a y this code allocates two pointers which can point to integers. OK, a y well, I see the two pointers,、uh, but they don't seem to be pointing to anything. That's right. Initially, pointers don't point to anything. The things they point to are called pointees, and setting them up is a separate step. Oh, right, right. I knew that. The pointees are separate.、Uh, so, how do you allocate a pointee? OK, a y well, this code allocates a new integer pointee, and this part sets x to point to it. Hey, that looks better. So, make it do something. OK, a y I'll dereference the pointer x to store the number 42 into its pointee. For this trick, I'll need my magic wand of dereferencing. Your magic wand of dereferencing?、Uh, that, that's great. This is what the code looks like. I'll just set up the number and. Hey, look, there it goes. So doing a dereference on x follows the arrow to access its point e, in this case, to store 42 in there. Hey, try using it to store the number 13 through the other pointer, y. OK, a y I'll just go over here to y and get the number 13 set up, and then take the wand of dereferencing and just. <coughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, that didn't work. Say,、uh, Binky, I don't think dereferencing y is a good idea because,、uh, you know, setting up the point t is a separate step, and、uh, I don't think we ever did it. Hmm, good point. Yeah, we, we allocated the pointer y, but we never set it to point to a point t. Hmm, very observant. Hey, you're looking good there, Binky. Can you fix it so that y points to the same point t as x? Sure, I'll use my magic wand of pointer assignment. Is that going to be a problem like before? No, this doesn't touch the pointees. It just changes one pointer to point to the same thing as another. Oh, I see. Now y points to the same place as x. So, so wait, now y is fixed. It has a pointee. So you can try the wand of dereferencing again to send the 13 over. Uh, OK, a y here goes. Hey, look at that. Now dereferencing works on y. And because the pointers are sharing that one pointee, they both see the 13. Yeah, sharing,、uh, whatever. So, are we going to switch places now? Oh, look, we're out of time. But so, hopefully, that puts a little more visual behind some of these ideas.